Final stretch of the regular season for the Whiteford Bobcats. They were hosting Britton Deerfield. Five-point game of the first quarter. Hunter DeBar slicing through the lane, lays it up and in. The Patriots making a push in the second quarter. Logan Shields doesn't get the bucket or the call, but follows his own miss. 25-22 Bobcats. For every Britton Deerfield run, Whiteford had an answer. Josh Hill spotting up from the wing. Got it. That makes it a 12-point Bobcat lead at the break. Down as many as 10 in the fourth. Patriots cut it to two with two minutes left. Shields battling for the board and one. He would make the free throw. 90 seconds left. Extra pass to Shea Ruddy in the corner. Knocks it down as Whiteford outlasts Britton Deerfield at 76-71 behind a career night from Hunter DeBar. I saw a lot of lanes to drive through. A lot of opportunity. Just took it strong and uh, uh, my team helped a lot. At halftime, we made the adjustments. Um, we saw the defense they were playing. We knew we could get it down low, and uh, we just made baskets and got, got the right shots. We send it back to Greg Frankie and Derek Sheridan. 76-71, a big game came down to the wire. White for beating Britton Deerfield, but it didn't look like it would happen. They had a 17-point lead well into the fourth quarter, but somehow that Deerfield team just never went away. Never, never. And when you've got players like Logan Shields and Nico Johnson, who can shoot the ball the way they can, I guess, Greg, maybe they're never out of a game. Well, we had even commented that with their three-point shooting ability, they are never out of a game, and they proved it. Hunter DeBar had 23 points to lead Whiteford in an outstanding effort, and Shea Ruddy, he looked like Larry Bird, hitting two three-point shots that they desperately needed when the lead was down to two points. What Mr. Clutch performance. Yeah, clutch. That's the word I was going to use, clutch. Shea Ruddy is just a clutch performer. We've seen it all season, and... How nice is it to have a player like Hunter DeBar coming off the bench and, and score 23 points for a team, uh, you know, for an enrollment such as Whiteford's to have a team that deep is truly special. Absolutely. One other nice note, Nico Johnson of Britton Deerfield, a guy well known to the Whiteford players for many years, got his thousandth point. They stopped the game and gave a commemorative game ball to him and, and uh, this crowd here at Whiteford were very appreciative of the player on the road. A great game overall, 76-71, Whiteford over Britton Deerfield.